this is the time we are able to see that Northern Kenya, which is 60, 65 to 70% of the landmass, is now being taken seriously. This particular conference gives us a very good opportunity for KCIC as an organization to scout for potential uh, investors into uh, the SMEs that we support. We are just uh, turning 10 years old, uh, one of the biggest incubators and accelerator organizations supporting uh, enterprises. One, we are very strong on climate uh, uh, change in terms of working at innovations in that space and supporting them. Second, we have also started diversifying and looking at uh, you know, agribusiness entrepreneurs with a clear, keen focus on uh, women and youth entrepreneurs. We do business in arid and semi-arid lands where we collect most of the things we use to produce what we sell, which is essential oils and aloe products. So we have aloe from northern Kenya, which we process and use to make these beautiful products here which are doing so well in the cos cosmetic industry. We are to provide the natural food that do not have chemicals. We don't spray most of our products. Neither do we use preservative in our products. So they are naturally produced. They are naturally preserved. The North, we have uh, so many different uh, opportunities, business opportunities that are there. For me, I mean, fisheries, you know, livestock, there are, there are other farmers there on livestock, uh, mainly herding, but they have no education. When it comes to even, you know, for them, it should be looked at as a business rather than a cultural practice. We have brought all the way from Isiolo close to 30 entrepreneurs who will be showcasing their products today and also looking for markets for their products. So it's an opportunity for us as an organization and also for the enterprises. <laughs> Our company goes major on women empowerment. So with these aloe products right here, we are able to empower these women here. It's a group of women in Laikipia. So what we do is train them, give them the right, uh, so, uh, the right equipment and the ingredients, and then they produce and we buy from them. Therefore, they get a different source of livelihood. I'm providing food at least for the vulnerable, for the small children, and also for the elderly, though it can also benefit the young people. Then number two, I've also employed people that are working for me. I have people in the farm. I have people that are processing and doing all that. Mm. I am sure the community is totally incorporated in Motama. Quite a number of things that need to be done uh, for the entrepreneurs who operate in the northern uh, frontier. One is, uh, on top of the list, is, is, is government support. Um, and that comes through a number of, a number of uh, initiatives by the government, you know, from those regions. But also the national government should be able to play a key role in terms of security, in terms of providing infrastructure, which, which perhaps uh, they should be able to partner with maybe, you know, uh, private sector to be able to do that. We have USAID, we have uh, KCACs of this world, and many more other actors, you know, who are really an investment mechanism and, and, and a number of them. So if they can be able to really work together, instead of perhaps financing the same, same, same entrepreneurs and perhaps try to expand that reach to a number of more needy and deserving entrepreneurs. That's number one. Second, and I think we have seen it that, um, you know, the Northeastern frontier is, 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 is ready for investment. So the question is, out of this conference, what, what would be some takeaways? Because for me, it's about government intervention, it's about the investors coming and, and trying to deploy capital very innovatively. And also, we need um, the private sector to be able to look at Northeastern Frontier as a place you can be able to put your money safely and, and get, 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 get returns for your investment. So it's quite a lot. But also, finally, as I said, the, the, the people providing BDS support, people providing, um, for example, the NGOs who are there, other programs, 
They need to work very collaboratively. We just to identify much, many more guys whom we can be able to scale up. Because, for example, if the two enterprises who are there, I mean, they are doing a, a, good, a good job. My thoughts are there are other entrepreneurs we can be able to scout and select in those uh, counties which can be able to get those kind of support and, and perhaps give much more in terms of employment and scale up their enterprises. So I think working collaboratively with all the sectors, with all the governments, with anybody who is working there from today, give a, uh, you know, Help, help us to scale what is happening in all eastern uh, counties. If you look at uh, the potential for these counties, we have the biggest number of uh, wildlife within these areas, which contributes actually more than 12% of the GDP of the country. If you look at the livestock industry, this county also majorly contributes to this front. So I want to say that there's quite a lot of investments, potential for investments, green energy. You've seen the solar energy, the wind power, which is also contributing positively to the economies of this country. We have had an opportunity to meet with different partners who can support us in terms of access to finance, uh, be it through grants or even be it through loans. We are happy because we can now make peace product in large amounts which is uh, a great thing because it's doing so well so by the help of KCIC uh, we can produce more and supply more. One of the most important things based on the lessons that I've learned uh, being an entrepreneur and also interacting with the, especially people doing business in the north. Uh, first of all consider this in the north um, the general population there we are so used to to being given aid. Um, you know, we're not used to this thing of um, you have to pay back. So I think the first thing is uh, we need to invest, or rather the NGOs and uh, you know uh, all the groups represented here. We need to have some level of investment in training on uh, some of these, even the facilities that are being offered, uh, because some people have no idea about you know, the risks associated with taking loans or, or even managing your own business, um, you know, it, some people think it comes naturally. Sometimes you end up taking a loan and it becomes more of a liability. Uh, you don't achieve what you need to achieve. So today's event is an, an eye-opener for so many of us. It has given us a, a platform uh, through the research that has been done uh, by the various institutions. It will give us a platform to determine what kind of opportunities lie in the northern frontiers. For example, uh, it could be something to do with uh, the sectors that we work in, uh, whether it's renewable energy, uh, water, uh, opportunities, waste management, and also uh, commercial forestry. In as much as uh, we know that uh, the impact of climate change in this particular frontier is so massive, but there are many, many beautiful savannas and plateau in the northern Kenya. You'll be very surprised. So for me, it is an opportunity for KCIC to scout for more businesses that can be incubated within the organization and also an opportunity to partner with like-minded organizations that can help us now to move this to the next level. <laughs> tunashamusa tunasafisa basi wakati inakuwa clean ndio sasa tunakausha ukikausha baada na kauka tunaweka kwa mashine sasa tunatengeneza ma na, na kwa angara hivi kama hii endelea kionda sasa ile kitu kazoro wetu ni jina tu ndio hakuna kitu mashine ya kuandika jina hiyo tu ndio kazoro mashine lengine yote tumepata with the help of KCIC we are able to produce more and because the product is in demand we can sustain our clients, which is the spas and the hospitality industry, and also personal like um, customers, like just normal customers who want to stock up. Amia Kateso KCIC. This one by itself, coming here in Safarika Park, is the most exciting. Though I know I'm in the process because I've signed a, an agreement with them, so I am their client. Uh, we have met twice for introduction and now we are doing BMC with them 
we are supposed to submit mandatory we come out of this conference. My message to the youth and women of the northern frontier is very simple. That you have a business idea, that you like it incubated, uh, they should be able to feel free to apply through the various uh, modes of application to KCIC so that they can be considered to, by either the Agribiz program or the Green Biz program and we can be able to incubate them and be able to provide them with the requisite skills that are needed for any particular business, be it business advisory services or even investor readiness uh, programs where they can access financing. I'd like to uh, tell KCIC that we are appreciate them and we are very appreciative of the help you guys are giving us. We will continue to do good from the help that we get from you guys and continue empowering women and seeing to it that we work with everyone and help them as well as you're helping us. <laughs>